my favorite campsites. It's actually a, rec a recreation center, but I love this place. It is at Honey Creek. So we're just getting settled in and getting our stuff packed out. Dog and the potatoes. I'm gonna do one cup of corn, frozen corn. Add that right on top of the potatoes. That one cup of green beans. Take a hamburger patty. I lay it here for now because I want to put some seasoning on it first. I'm just going to put some pepper and salt on both sides. Flip it over. Go a little easy on the salt. <laughs> All right. So now you make sure you put the thing right on the middle of all your vegetables and stuff, right on top you lay it. And then take onions. And they say you lay them right on top here. And then move for that. Yeah, I don't want this pot. Okay. There we go, plenty of onions. And now we're gonna fold it. You wanna do this edges like this. I think they said it like that. And then the side up. Like that. And they say, you just make sure it's tight, but you leave a little so you can inside look when it's on the thing, what it looks like. But you are gonna, so you can easily open it once it's on the grill. But you want to close that like that. I want to have room so you can see here, a little pocket, so you can see how it's cooking. And then you put it on the grill, and they say about a half hour you lay it on your grill. And then we will see, and we should have some dinner before too long. Okay. I want to make sure you, there you go. And we're just gonna let it cook for a while and check it every once in a while and see how it goes.
Well, I baked some bread at home yesterday, so I cut it in slices, and now I'm gonna put some garlic butter on. Well, I got into the grocery store, and it's actually pretty good for cooking, and so it's called garlic and herbs. So I'm gonna spread some on that, and then we're gonna put that on the fire. And see how that turns out. So. Oh, that garlic butter smells yummy. If you like garlic, mm-hmm. Smells good. Fly won't stay away from it. <laughs> Go. Just a little bit of the butter on here. Wrap it up in the foil and throw it on the fire for a little while. That's that. How do you like it? That's, oh, look at that. That might need a little more split one more time. But look at this and look at that spread. Oh, yes. Yummy! Getting hungry! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you guys what we use to do our dishes. It's one of those collapsible, what they call them, collapsible sinks. And that you can, that's how you drain the water out, but it's that easy. You just do it like this, and voila, you have your sink to do dishes. We have two, one to do dishes and one to rinse. So, but I got the love in those. Because they take hardly any space and anybody who goes camping knows you're always going to have dishes so and then of course last on our last uh camping thing i in i told you guys about this jug we bought where i put seven gallons of water in and this is so handy to have because you're always going to have water so just going to fill this up that's for my rinsing that's already just fill it with some water But I say we use them pretty much every time we go camping because we always have dishes. I wouldn't want to go without them now. So there we go. So that's is for my rinsing. And there's what I do the dishes and then rinse them out. And then when you're done, you just pluck that, unplug that hole right there. And voila. Ready to eat. Not really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Look at that. Isn't that? Mm -hmm. All right. I think we are ready to eat. So, pick your food and then here's my seasoning. Look at that. I mean, that was pretty simple to make. It really was. Now, I don't know about you, but I am hungry now.
Okay, I'm gonna make a raspberry cake in our Dutch oven for the first time. I've never done anything in a Dutch oven before, so that will be interesting. But that's what I'm attempting to do. It's doing a raspberry cake in our Dutch oven. So, stay tuned and see how it will turn out. I already measured some of my stuff at home, so I didn't have a mess with it here. So, but unfortunately I have to wear my glasses for this. All right, for this recipe, it calls for a half cup of sugar, which I got right here, and then a half cup of milk, which is right here, and then an egg, and you mix this, and vanilla extra, a half teaspoon, but I mostly mixed all my stuff at home, just to make it easier. And so you mix the wet ingredients and then the dry ingredients together. It sounds pretty simple. And throw the raspberries in, and then we're gonna bake it into the best <laughs> All right. So it's calling for one egg. Oh, and I did a mistake and oops today. I had all my stuff organized for to make my cake. And then I used our butter to cook our supper and didn't realize that that's the only butter I bought. So I'm going to have to combine butter and use oil instead. So we will see. But, you know, make it work. Not much of a difference, I don't think. So just going to have to use a little less oil than I would if I used butter. Right here. So we will see. It might turn out even better. Who knows? So you're gonna add your half cup of milk and then your sugar, half a cup. Now in here is my flour and my baking soda and salt. And I did it all in home already. So I mixed it all in here and that will go in here. But yep, so I made it easy for ourselves. So I don't have to do mix measuring all here. We've got a good stir. Alright, sit down. So it says you slowly can you hold it for a minute. Huh? You slowly add the dry mixture into this and just kind of fold it in just a little bit at the time and it's going to be a very thick turning into a dough so here is a dough we have the raspberries it's pretty heavy there, but we will see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dump it in a little Dutch oven, the whole dough. Yep, I'm gonna just spread it out on the floor, even maybe I say. Yep. There we go. Yep, it will rise. Look at that, all in. So we will see. Now we're just gonna have to wait. Okay, all set. That. Yep. All right, we got our coals on here now and wait for about 30 minutes and check it and see what it's going to look like. All right, I think we're ready to check our cake and make sure it's done. So we will see. Oh, look at that. Stick my knife in there. 
comes out clean, it is done. So now we're gonna have to let it cool for a while. But when we cut into it, we will find out what the bottom looks like. But that is looking pretty good. And I had you all the way inbound. Why didn't you stop? You didn't get a license, you're under suspension. That's all. That was it. a little bit of weed on That was it. We are so excited that they brought Live PD back. They changed the name and put it on a different channel. But we missed that show so much. And even to watch it on our campsite today is exciting. So that's what we're doing right now, watching. What is, they changed the name Patrol Live now. But, oh, we are so excited to watch that. How much you have to drink? Yeah, it should be good. There we go. Cut into our cake and see how it turned out. I hope it turned out as good as it looks. I don't know. I don't know. It looks pretty good. First cake in the Dutch oven. I mean, yeah. yeah. Raspberry cake. There it is. Turned out okay. Haven't tried it yet, but if it looks, if it tastes as good as it looks, it will be all right. And that's what you call a raspberry cake in a Dutch oven. Good morning. It was a nice cool night for a change, but now it's time for morning coffee. Gotta have my coffee, it's very good. We had a good time camping here. The weather was absolutely perfect. Good sleeping weather. But uh, we're going to wrap this up. And we will see you next time we get out, out of the, the house. house.